is this guy? I don't know. I'm trying to get situated. Hey, you guys, I'm doing my little skincare routine and I wanted to show you guys. So, okay, a little skin update, you guys. I've been using Zeo Skin for like three to four months now, you guys, and I have like oily, acne prone skin. And like, I used to have so much congestion like on my lower cheek area. You can still see like I have some like hyperpigmentation and like some scarring. I actually like got a laser treatment a year and a half ago and I feel like it just made my skin like, it like made my dark spots worse to be honest because I just didn't like prepare for that treatment beforehand and like you're supposed to if you're doing a laser treatment. Anyway, I'm going in with the oil control pad. You guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm excited to have you here. I feel like there's a lot of just like life updates that we're gonna be chatting about and I'm excited to jump into this video. These, you guys, I do these morning and night. You guys, Zio Skin is a bit more like pricey. Typically, I like use the same pad like morning and night because this shit's expensive and I'm trying to just like get the most out of um, each product. So, and then I go in with the illuminating serum. Whenever I do this, I like really feel like a YouTuber. I don't consider myself that. Is there a freaking drone outside? Okay. This stuff is like just makes your skin look really nice. It has like a sheen to it. But you guys, so Kat and I have moved. We lived together for a year in like a, whatever, in a place, the town south of where I currently am which was amazing. This is the first time that we're like officially, officially not living together, which is just like, it's a transition. Kat and I, we've been together since the womb. So it's just a little bit, I don't know. Still see each other like pretty much on a daily basis, but it's just like not as much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I'm going in with the, just the hydrating cream from Zio. Nothing crazy, but I think this has um, like antibacterial ingredients which is good for me because like i said i have acne prone skin honestly was my skincare routine in the morning and even evenings honestly pretty freaking simple this bottle is like completely destroyed but i'm going in with the elta md tinted sunscreen i like that this just like it has a tint to it so it just it, I mean, you could you could just wear this if you wanted to. Um, I'm getting ready to go train right now. But if I'm filming, I typically like doing like a full face of makeup. If I'm being honest, I don't know. I just feel like if I feel confident and like good in the gym, I genuinely just, I don't know. I'm like able to really like just like focus more on myself, if that makes sense. Not that I can't do that like with no makeup or whatever, but like you get it. I feel like I don't really need to explain myself with that one. Okay, one more step, you guys, because I do have acne prone skin. I do have like some breakouts, like, or just not even breakouts, just like zits, um, congestion, like on my jawline. So I will go in with this benzoyl peroxide, like acne control from Zio. This stuff is freaking strong. So I basically just like i kind of just dot it on my lower jaw area and or put it like right on the area like of the zit it's like this is a good spot control you dude <laughs> the first time i freaking use this or like the first few times you guys i put it i put it at like the beginning of my skincare routine and then i think you're supposed to do it like um, after like your serum or even before your serum like on dry skin but then I would put product over it and then I would be rubbing the product all over my face and like my eyelids were like freaking chapped like my skin was just so dry and I was like you know what I don't think I'm doing this right so now I just put it at the end of my treatment I know that's probably not how you're supposed to do it but you know what that's what works for me okay okay Kat and I have never I'm, I'm, I got, I'm being truthful with you right now we're so I don't know we're just genuinely super particular about like brands that we work with just I don't like 
telling you guys something if I don't genuinely like like the product or like the brand. So I'm excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Lumi, you guys. So you guys, this deodorant is paraben free. It's aluminum free. It's created by an OB like GYN, which I just think is really cool. I'm trying to just get rid of like more toxic products in my household. I just, I know that stuff has just like metals and things in it that like aren't good for you and that directly affect like our internal health, um, our hormonal health, which is just huge, especially just long term. This stuff's just actually amazing, you guys. There's other brands that I've used that like, yeah, they smell good. I feel like they work pretty good. I don't know. Like they work, they work pretty good, but I feel like I still was getting like odor and kind of like a spicy scent if you will excuse me you guys this stuff i raved about it to cat and keely i was like no you guys like i'm shook like literally i'm shook this stuff freaking works okay typically i shower every night okay but like sometimes if i don't shower one day whatever i still end up like waking up and like i have like no scent which is just freaking crazy to me in general like you just don't get that like i feel like you end up smelling a little bit at least after like I don't know, like four to six hours or so. I kid you not, you guys, this, <laughs> okay, this stuff works. That's, that's what I'm saying about this. And it doesn't stain your clothes. This is the lavender. It does just have like a little like twist, twist thing. And then it like comes out the top. Sorry if this like may look a little dirty. It's because I've actually been using it. And it dries like pretty quick. It doesn't leave like white streaks like on your clothes, which is great, so. I had to share this with you guys. Cheers. Okay, we're gonna get ready for the rest of this video. We're going to train, baby. Okay, you guys, I wanted to hop back in because I forgot to tell you that if you are new to Lumi and you wanna try out um, some of their products, they do offer a starter kit, um, which comes with a full size deodorant, it comes with a full cream deodorant, and then two free products and then also free shipping. I'm gonna link everything below for you guys in the description box if you guys are looking to try it out. And then if you guys use the link below to shop and use KKFit at checkout, you will save $5, which is 40% off. Thank you, Lumi, again for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I've never used this before and I wanted to try it. I'm honestly constantly looking for a brow gel. I like my brows more bushy. I didn't fill them in or anything. I typically just use like this brow pencil, the Sephora one. And then I like, I don't know, I bend this. I don't know what shade that is. It's like a lighter brown, but I'm gonna see how this works. A lot of brow gels that I've used typically get like like white and flaky i'm like what the fuck i know i've asked you guys and like also on insta some recommendations typically to be honest sometimes i just use a hairspray and i'm like it just sticks it just stays so i'm gonna press that up a little bit i don't know let's see how this goes one thing i know for damn sure you know what i've shared this with you guys a bunch of times the Ilia mascara is like my holy grail i've been using this stuff for definitely over two years and then i also use grande lash like we've mentioned probably over 30 times on this channel i'm only using this like twice a week right now like some, sometimes i even put it on like after my makeup you just put it on your lash line makes your lashes grow and it can leave like kayleen i know she like she likes it because it helps her lashes but it also like makes like around her eyes like a bit darker it doesn't really do that for me i've used other brands before and i just feel like they don't work that well so there's that it feels like i'm gonna love you for the rest of my life i've been loving you guys, more of like a pinky lip. This is the Huda Beauty. It's rusty pink. Typically, I like it. Okay, I, I, just let me finish here, okay? So I line like the top middle and then the bottom middle. And mind you, I'm no makeup guru. Like I don't do the outside 
Hey, how you doing? And then I just kind of blend it out with my finger. And I like that like it's just a, a natural like lip color, but like a little more. And I just feel like it's cute. Maybe I'll add him some freckles because Kat always inspires me to do freckles. And it feels like I'm gonna love you for the rest of my life. I literally just go in with a freaking brow pencil, you guys. Do a little freckles. And then I just kind of like dab them out. I think that's the makeup look for today. First things first, chilling good tunes, all right? I woke up to the morning sky just texted me because she's also doing the program and she was like this is funny she's like at literally at 131 it's like 130 she's like bro how are your quads feeling mine feels so much more fatigued you guys that leg day was freaking brutal i didn't video the vmo lunch because honestly the gym was like a bit crowded and i just I need to be mindful about just like people in the background and stuff like I really really do try my best it's like can be really challenging sometimes but you guys that was a good workout I need to give you a little training update so today was my first day doing week one day one of the new unilateral program which I'm just thrilled to be starting I did pick up running and I've been running for like three weeks pretty consistently and yesterday was Sunday and I ran 4.3 miles just like on the treadmill. I've been liking it on the treadmill for some reason. I feel like it's easier to track. I would do kind of like intervals, not intervals, but like I would drift between speed 5.5 and 5.7, which is just kind of like a jog and it feels comfortable for me. But yesterday was freaking hard. So I'm excited to be training in a unilateral way, which is like single limb, one-sided, so no like barbell back squats, no like barbell bench, barbell row. It's all like single arm and single leg movements, which I used to be very skeptical about because I used to kind of like, I don't know, I used to kind of like put myself in a box in regards to training. Like I was just so used to and so stubborn with a certain style of training. And I was like, you know what? Like I broke out of that and I did this style of training like a couple years ago. That's like when we created the first unilateral program and I freaking loved it. And it really, really helped with like my hip impingements, my overall just like stability. And then as well as making me more just like symmetrical naturally, we have one side that's stronger than the other. So to like be challenged and really just like equal out the strength on each side of your body it just leaves me feeling a lot better like just movement wise and body wise both training like in the gym and outside the gym which is just amazing so that's a little training update nutrition wise you guys i'm actually i'm go i'm going to a wedding at the end of april and like i'm trying to be 
like I want to be a little bit tighter so I am in a sense like in like a little cutting phase I don't like label it as that but like that's just kind of where I'm at I am tracking macros for the meantime sometimes I feel weird talking about like macros and whatnot because I feel like they kind of I don't know it's there's definitely like a certain place and a time to be tracking like if you want to be but I know I don't know for some reason I feel like tracking like has like a bad rap when in reality it can be like such a beautiful and like such a good to tool to just like help you along your like journey with whatever that looks like so right now I am tracking which is good for me because I do have specific goals I'm still eating for like just like overall health wellness like hormonal health all of those things but I do have a little more structure in regards to my nutrition, which feels good right now. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm heading home right now. My workout was good. Yeah, girls, a little sweaty. You guys ending with those like the like hip flexor stationary like leg drives, bro. Those are good for me too because I'm running and I need to strengthen my hip flexors. It's a win, 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 baby. It's quite later in the day, folks. Cheers. We're bundled. Kina and I are about to go one down. We're about to go one down. Here she is, gotta go. I thought you wanted to give them an update on what we're doing, but I guess we can. I was just gonna show them. Let's just show them, okay. <laughs> are we gonna put our skates on and show the vlog? Yeah. Are we gonna put our, our AirPods on? And show the vlog? Yeah. Cheeks, we didn't come from the house. <laughs> you look cute. Ow. Ow. I say three words. That's what I out but Kayleen and I went rollerblading and then Jazz called me and I almost wasn't gonna answer because I was a little bit busy <laughs> and then she ended up being exactly where we were watching the sunset with her little puppy ah. sit no baby voice sit <laughs> oh you're smart she didn't do it when she said sit you're smart got some sweet potatoes no, they're not babies. Jazzy's shuffling up the crazy. chicken. You got a little vidge. Okay, you guys. No baby. You know what? I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys had a good time here with me. More videos to come. I know we probably say that every time, but truly. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.